Alright, if you guys are seeing this part of the video, I am no longer live. I'm going to let it go for a couple minutes while I get set up so that you guys join. But we're going to bleach some shirts today. So. And I'm not sure how to invite people, so I'm just going to let it post and, you know, <laughs> see what happens. So, we are going to be bleaching some shirts today. I've had... Lots of people ask how I bleach um, and you know all the different things that I do so I'm going to be showing you guys today. So I'm very excited to show you guys what I do. It's nothing fancy um, but I think the hardest part of bleaching is just figuring it out. So that's what I'm here to help you guys with. Let me check and see what's going on. Comment down below so I know you guys are here. Um, and then once we get some people, we can get started. I know it's kind of in the middle of the day, but you have to have some sunshine to bleach, so um, middle of the day is the best time to do it. So right now I'm just getting my shirts set up, so that way we can get going. Hi Brooklyn! How are you doing today? Let me know when you guys are all on and we can get started, but you guys were super loving the sleeves that I did, so that's what I'm here to show. Hello, lots of questions. Okay, awesome. Feel free to ask any questions as I go or now or just anytime, but um, I'm going to give it just a couple minutes and we will get started. So. What kind of shirts do I use? I prefer the Gildan Soft Styles. That's what both of these are today. Um, they are the Heather colors, so they are 65, 65% polyester? Yes, 65% polyester and 35% cotton. Cotton is what will bleach. Polyester is what you need for sublimation. So even if you plan to use HTV or Screen prints never bleach on 100% cotton. It will shred. It'll rip up in the wash. It will not last. Just the 100% cotton cannot stand up to the bleach. Um, so always get a polyester cotton blend. Now with that being said, not all of them will bleach. Um, there's only a select handful of grays that will bleach and even like blacks, even if they're the right blend, they don't bleach. So. I like 65-35, so 65 polyester, 35 cotton, but I've used 60 poly, 40 cotton. I've used 50-50. Um, it's all about trial and error, but Gildan Soft Styles, um, Bella Canvas is really popular. They have um, their CVC, which is the right blend. Do I use bleach and peroxide? Yes, but not together. So the bleach is what will bleach it, and then you spray it with peroxide to neutralize the bleach. So then, so once you put the bleach on, you let it sit, it'll turn white eventually if it's going to, and then you will spray the peroxide on and it stops it from bleaching so your shirt doesn't become see-through. So where do I get my shirts? I order online. Um, there's lots of sellers such as like Jiffy, All Day Shirts, um, Bulk Apparel, I think that's what it's called, Bulk Apparel, Bulk Shirts. Um, some people do buy shirts at Hobby Lobby, some buy them at Michael's. Um, you can find sometimes some Walmart shirts work. I've never tried them, but I get mine typically at Jiffy um, or ones that you specifically need like wholesaler license. Um, that is where I get them. Yeah, you're welcome, of course. So I have two shirts here. This one I have no plans for, um, but this one over here, I'm going to be doing the flag stencils on the sleeves. So I grabbed one with little bigger sleeves so we have plenty to look at. So I'm excited about these new shirt stencils from Puzzle. Um, I've already cracked mine, so just be careful. <laughs> I'm very clumsy, but uh, you have to peel off these little paper bits, so I'm going to do that real fast. But you literally just kind of line it up on your shirt and spray. So it's super awesome. I should have done this before the live, but... I did not prepare so what we're gonna do is we're going to peel this as best we can while we wait might just have to peel it later 
but you put this on the sleeves and then do a light spray with your bleach over the top from a straight on 90 degree angle and do very lightly and spray. So let's, might just peel off this paper later, make it a little faster. The paper will just get gross, but I can deal with it later. So I'm going to point you guys down so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. So give me just one second. All right, let's see. All right, can you guys see the ground? Perfect. So I'm going to lay my shirt down right where you guys can see it. All right, so I've got my sleeve right here and I'm going to stuff my sleeve. So something that I don't see a lot of people do but then they have bleeding is they don't stuff their sleeve. So I'm just gonna take some plastic and shove it in the sleeve and spread it out. This will save your shirt from bleaching through so you can do the flag on both sides and you get the look on both. And then all you do is you're going to take your stencil and you're gonna line it up how it goes. So you can see there's the curve in the sleeve, that's where you're just gonna line up the curve. Super nice and easy. And yes, I did not peel off the paper so you guys can see it better. Yeah, and you're just gonna angle it around and see and play with it till it fits just right. They're designed to fit just like the average shirt, so it should fit pretty perfectly, just like that. All right, and then I use 100% bleach. I don't um, add any water, and my bleach, let me get it right here. I have 100% bleach in a poison sprayer. So this is what I use, so that's the little nozzle that you guys will see. So this is what I use. Um, I do hundreds and hundreds of shirts a week though. So if you don't want to do that, you can just use any spray bottle. Any spray bottle will work, but this is just the, the big old sprayer that I have is this one. So that is what I'm gonna use, and you're just gonna spray it. <coughs> and I am sitting in a room with bleach, so please don't mind if you hear me. But yeah, so all you're going to do is just carefully spray it. So mine's a pump, so I have to pump it up real fast. <laughs> but you just want to make sure you've got it lined up how you want. Get it nice in there. And then you're going to carefully spray. So just straight at a 90 degree angle and saturate. Okay, and then carefully lift it straight up and off so that you don't get any drip marks. And hopefully you guys can see that, but we can see the stripes and all the stars. So that's how you do that. It's super easy, you guys. Um, it definitely is not very hard. Um, yeah. And then what I like to do for the middle part is I just spray a circle uh, so I can put my sublimation graphic on. So let me carefully pull this over so you guys can see the middle of the shirt while I spray it. And you guys ask how I get my circles perfect. Honestly, I just eyeball them. And I can't see the screen right now, but I'll get to your comments if there are any in a second. But I literally just take it and spray a circle. That's how I do it. I don't do anything fancy. And then I just fill it in. So all of you guys that were like, how do you do a perfect circle? This is how. Is I just spray. <laughs> Nothing fancy. So it's pretty easy. And then for my splatters, I just put it on the stream setting and I spritz. So I'll go spray and just spray. And I'll just do little dots all over the shirt. You can do drizzles, you can do spots. You can do it as much as or as little as you want. All right, I'm gonna check the screen for comments. Let me see if there are any. Hi, Candice. So hopefully you guys can see that sleeve still. 
you guys can see it starting to turn. Look at that. And it turns really fast when you're outside. Um, so I'm actually doing this inside for the sake of lighting and I have terrible service outside. But you guys can see that nice stencil already showing on the sleeve. And I'll have to do the other sleeve separate when I can move it around a bit more. But yeah, you guys can see that that sleeve right here, perfectly made with that stencil. How cool is that? And you can do all the different stencils and everything. But yeah, guys, that's how you do the sleeve stencils. I know a lot of you guys had questions about them, and it's honestly super easy once you know. So we're going to let that bleach for a minute. Um, it's going to take some time, like I said, because I'm sitting inside, but usually it goes really fast outside. But yeah, let me tip you guys back up. All right, so while that's bleaching, do you guys have any questions? So once it's bleached, you will um, peroxide the front and then you will spray the backside if you want to. You don't have to, but um, you will peroxide, spray the back, and then throw it in the washing machine. I like to do a cold cycle and just a regular wash um, with just any laundry pods. I get sensitive ones for my customers, but that's just what I use. But any laundry pods, no harsh chemicals, wash dry just like normal, and you will have a nice white bleach pattern when you're done. So that spraying that we just did will look just like this one when you're done. And so I do the backs too. I don't like leaving the backs blank. But yeah, super cool, super fun, super easy. This one was the leopard. It looks so good. And so I did the sleeve on the front, back, and little patches on like the corner and on the side and stuff. You can add some super cool flair with these. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Rusty. And Carol. Yes, tag everybody. I couldn't remember who it was. And I don't have my laptop with me. <laughs> but yeah, do you guys have any questions? And um, I know it's the middle of the day. I know a lot of you guys are at work. So if you're watching this on repeat, say hi. Let me know you're watching it. Um, hopefully, I can get some of the um, tutorials, do another one maybe later in the day so people can see or on a weekend. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's super cool. So we've got our one down low, and I'll show it again in just a second. Hey, Carol, how are you? But yeah, so this is the one that was in the video, it was in the picture that I posted. Super cool. You can, they have uh, lots of different ones. My favorite, I think, is this leopard print or the flag. But yeah, that's that one. And then I'm going to flip it down to show you guys one more time. I tried finding that stuff to use on shirts. Which stuff? Maybe I can help you find it. Um, so let me show you guys the shirt that we're bleaching at the moment right now. There we go. Look at it. It looks so good. So it's obviously taking its sweet time to turn just because, like I said, I'm doing this inside because I don't have really strong signal outside. Um, and then we've got the big circle in the middle too that's bleaching. So normally this probably would have been white by now, but like I said, I'm inside. So it's not, um, bleaching too fast, but once we get done with this, I will carefully take this outside and I will let it bleach white. So no worries about that. But yeah, do you guys uh, to turn it white, like how you bleach them? I just use bleach. Um, and so I just went over this. I know you just popped on, but I'll go over it again. I'm more than happy. Please ignore my dog. He's annoying. But let me show you. So this is the bleach that I use. This is an empty jug. This is just the bleach I have. It's just plain Clorox bleach. Um, so I just put bleach in a spray bottle. So this is um, from Sam's Club. You get like a five pack for five bucks. Um, but you can get them at Walmart, Target, the dollar store even. Um, this one I think is from the dollar store. I use it for my black splatters. Um, but yeah, you put your straight bleach in a spray bottle. This is my peroxide, but you get the concept. Bleach into the spray bottle and then you just directly spray it on. Um, for the stencils you want to go at a 90 degree angle and do a light misting um, otherwise you will saturate it too much and it will bleed. But 
for the rest of the shirt. You just put it on, load it up, and go. Um, once it's done bleaching, so once it gets to the white that you like, so like this was this white, so I sprayed the bleach and I left it and it got this white. So then at that point, I take the peroxide and I spray it on. It neutralizes the bleach. It makes it stop bleaching completely um, and it will save your shirt from getting too thin um, or like ripping. So bleach, bleach, bleach till it gets white. Then um, hydrogen peroxide. Super cheap, super easy. The stuff in that brown bottle, um, once again, I go through a lot of it. I just put it in a spray bottle and spray it on and then wash like normal. Um, how long do you leave the bleach on outside? It really depends. I live in Texas. I live in Central Texas. Um, so, I mean, on a day like today where it's nice and sunny, if it's in direct sun, it takes like 10, 15 minutes. I mean, five minutes sometimes. Um, you just put it on and you leave it till it's white or until the color you want. You know, if you spray something and you want it kind of yellow or, you know, kind of pink, whatever the color it is. So like if you spray the red, it's going to go pink and then white. If you want to keep it pink, then stop bleaching sooner, you know, spray it with peroxide. But if I were to do this shirt outside right now, it would probably take five, maybe 10 minutes. And then I would peroxide, flip the shirt over, spray the backside. And then once that's done, I would run them inside to the washer. I use Gildan Soft Styles. Um, that's my preferred uh, brand is the Gildan Soft Styles. There are specific ones. So here's the tag, Gildan Soft Style. Um, you have to get certain colors. So you do not want 100% cotton. Um, you want to use a polyester cotton blend. So anything that has that polyester and cotton like these two the soft styles will be good so this one's a 65 percent polyester 35 percent cotton um, so the cotton bleaches but it's not 100 percent cotton so it doesn't rip so that 35 percent bleaches gets white it's beautiful that 65 percent lets me sublimate hi maria how are you i'm in texas i'm in central texas i am on fort hood if you guys know where that is colleen literally puzzles five minutes up the road for me that's how Jessica and I know each other. Um, I've known Puzzle since like oh, two weeks before it was a thing. <laughs> so yeah, I'm on Fort Hood. My husband's in the army. Uh, where is the best place to get them? I personally order them from Jiffy. Um, Jiffy's kind of expensive unless you order bulk. Um, but they do have lots of different brands. But if you look up Gildan Soft Styles or Bella Canvas, Heather colors and just make sure it's the 65 35s or 60 40s or even some 50 50s work. Um, you can also find some Gildans at Hobby Lobby. If you want to just try one or two, go to Hobby Lobby. They have some. But yeah, so these are the soft styles. That's my preferred kind. Um, I like Bella canvases. They're nice and soft, but they're a little too thin after you bleach them for my personal preference. Um, I know some people absolutely love them. Um, just not my thing. So, yeah, Gildan Soft Styles. Ah. Yeah, this flag one's looking really good down here. I wish you guys, I have to tip you guys down to see it. Do you guys have any other questions? Um, and like I said before, you just use your bleach. Just your, sorry, just your bleach, your regular bleach. I'm so sorry about him. My husband's supposed to be watching him. Um, your bleach, put it in a spray bottle. This is one from Sam's Club. I have ones from Walmart. I have some from the dollar store. Um, just put it in any spray bottle. If you do a lot of shirts like I do, you could get a poison sprayer like me, but odds are you're not going to be making a ton at first. Just get a spray bottle. Get two, one for your bleach, one for your peroxide. Works perfect. All right, any other questions? Um, like I said, I know it's early, so a lot of you guys are probably at work and you'll catch this later, but yeah, so I will show you guys the flag one more time because it looks so cool. I'm super excited about it. Yeah, there's the flag one more time. So you guys can see the stencil right here, how it laid on, and that's what the stencil looked like, and then you carefully take it off and ta -da, there's your stencil. So it's super cool. Like I said, I highly recommend doing it outside. <laughs> Not inside like I am because I'm trying to do it as a video. 
Um, if you guys ever have questions, comment on this video, comment, like tag me, like if you make a post, feel free to tag me, um, you know, message me, anything like that. So if you guys have any other questions, I'll give it just another minute or two. Um, this is a super quick video because once this is done, which it'll take a while inside and I don't want to sit in here too long with the bleach, but um, once it's done, I'm just going to throw it in the washer. You know, a peroxide spray, just a ch -ch -ch of peroxide and then throw it in the washing machine. So, and then it'll be just like this one is. Ready to go, ready to be sublimated, screen print, uh, vinyl, anything. So... I work for Pink Zebra, so I make my own shirts and want to do it with the zebra ones. Yes, the zebra. They have uh, the zebra stencil. I, like, it's super cool. She has so many, and I've already talked with her about uh, different ones and, like, Christmas-themed ones and Thanksgiving themes and, you know, all the different holidays and, you know, even, like, little Easter eggs for Easter or, like, you know, there's so many cool things, so... I definitely think you should make some zebra ones, like little zebra sleeves. How cute would that be? On a pink shirt? Yes. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and hop off so I can get out of here because I can feel the bleach. I'm going to take this shirt outside, let it finish, and call it a day. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, like I said, don't hesitate to tag me, comment, um, follow me on TikTok. I post lots of videos over there. You can ask questions too. But yeah, you guys want to get these stencils? It's puzzlemolds.com. I can put it in the comments or I'll edit it into the caption, but there's that. I'm going to show the flag one more time because that's kind of the star of the show. There she is. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I know it was super quick, but let me know if you guys have any questions and go get your stencils because they're amazing. All right, see you guys next time. Bye.